so today's topic is just us talking about like how we met that's really it um just a disclaimer there are not going to be any names in this whatsoever we're just gonna say a mutual friend that we had okay um so moving forward so do you want to start or do you want me to start no okay (laughs) (laughs) oh man that's embarrassing where'd it go where'd it go but anyways so how we met is basically through a mutual friend. I say like I knew this mutual friend. He's known this mutual friend how for how long? Ten years. Ten years, and I've known this person for about two or three. Three. One of those. Okay, so basically at the time, like I was single or whatever. I think I just got a no, I didn't get just get out of a relationship, but I was like, okay, like I want a boyfriend now. Like I'm done messing around. And so once that happened, um, I used to FaceTime his friend all the time. Like, me and him were really cool. Yeah. Um, and then at that time, they were at, like, a like a Waffle House. We were at a Waffle House. It was me, our mutual friend, and then two of my other friends. Mm-hmm. And she, uh, he was introducing her to us around uh-huh. the entire table. Mind you, I was wearing a hat at the time. But... Then yeah, uh, she was introduced. She was getting introduced to everyone, and you can tell the rest. <laughs> I'm not keep going. You're good. Um. Okay. Well, she was texting our mutual friend, saying, "Hey, who's the guy in the hat?" And our mutual friend was like, "Oh, that's my best friend, Nick." And. She was like, oh, he's cute. Give him my number. Mm -hmm. So basically. She made the first shot. I made the first shot. Because I'm like, okay, like, I'm tired of, like, waiting on guys to come up to me. Because it's, like, really, it never happens. Because guys feel intimidated for some fucking reason. So, like, they'll, like, look at me. And then they'll be like, like, they'll smile or whatever. And then look away and never do anything. Anyway, so I was kind of like, I was just tired of it. So I was like, okay, yeah, let me go ahead and, like make my first shot or do that like yeah. yeah so i did it and then um we, I, had, we had hit it off we hit it off yeah we definitely did like we were texting each other we were pretty um, much texting each other every day yeah and i was like what's your facebook because i was like i wanted to stalk him a little bit so i was like what's your facebook and whatever <laughs> I was like, like, what's your Facebook? What's your Instagram? Like, I want to see what you look like for real. If I like start talking to you more. True. And so I like, <laughs> so I was just like, okay, whatever. I was looking at his pictures and everything. And I was like, oh yeah, he's cute. Like, he's cute. He's really cute. Mm. Um. So yeah. And then what else? But like, the funny thing is when we first started talking... I said hi to her mom one time. Oh, shit. And she made the automatic assumption that I was gay. Yeah, my mom was like, I was like, Mom, look, come here, like, meet my friend. And I was doing my hair, I think I was. Yeah, um, you were. I was doing my hair while we were FaceTiming. I was like, Mom, come meet my friend. And she was like, okay. And he was like, hi, whatever. He was sound, like, he sounded nice. And, he, and then my mom was like, is he gay? And I was like, I was like, no, he's not gay, like. I know he's not gay. And she stuck with that for like a month. Right. For a whole month. And I'm like, "Mm, he's not gay. Like, I wouldn't know that. But yeah, so that's how we really met. Then we're just going to give y'all a whole spiel of like, we call it part one and part two. Because like part one is like how we first met us talking in the beginning. And then part two was basically now. It's now. Yeah. And there ain't gonna be no part three because you annoy the fuck out of me. Mm-hmm. Like, ooh. Anyways, but... <laughs> but part one, it was like, we talked for three months? or We talked for one. A month. Okay. Yeah, so we talked for a month. I was in school, so, like, you know, I was, like, texting him through class, whatever, or whatever. But I remember one day, like, you could just tell... Or maybe... Okay, let's start over my, I guess I was a little bit too 
straightforward or I was too much for him in the beginning. Because how would you explain it, babe? Yeah, I wasn't ready to settle down yet. So that was when we had stopped talking. Mm -hmm. And we stopped talking for six months. Uh huh. But let's like. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Did you explain that? Like, I had texted you asking you if you were even ready for a relationship? Oh, yeah, she did ask that. She did ask. Because you could ready. just. She yeah. asked if I was ready to settle down, and I was like. No. Because you can just tell by a guy, like, the way that they talk, the way that they act, this and that. You can honestly tell if a guy's really down for you, if he's just like, oh, okay, going with the flow type thing. Which, in my case, I was looking for somebody I could actually date, date, because I've never actually been in a relationship, relationship, not, for neither, real. Neither have I. Um, but, yeah, so... Then I texted him after class and I was driving. And I was like, are you even ready for a real relationship? Like, be honest. I'm okay. He's like, honestly, like, no, I'm not ready. This and that. I'm like, okay, fine. She still has the text. Texts. No, actually, I don't. That's from oh. my old phone number. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, okay, whatever. Like, obviously, I was hurt. But I was like, at least you're not leading me on. And I'm just like, and you're, I'm with a guy that isn't ready. True. I'd rather be with a guy that's ready. Yeah. So I was like, okay, whatever. So then we had stopped talking for six months. And then, what was it? December 26th of... Hey, remember the day? 2019? <laughs> mm -hmm. 2019? I had hit her up, because that was when I got... They always come back. <laughs> my new car. <laughs> When I got my uh, my current car now, it's a 2017 Nissan Altima. Um, I hit her up asking her if I can come over to her house so she could see the car and all this other stuff. Um, and then she said, yeah, and I barely, and I woke her up too. Out of my damn sleep. I woke you her did. up out of her sleep. So did. And sorry if she's sounding country, but... <laughs> Shut up. But, yeah, so I went to her house. She came outside. She was wearing sweatpants and a t-shirt. Yep. What she's wearing now. With some Uggs. Some pink Uggs. I yeah. remember. Yeah, some pink Uggs. It was really beautiful that day, too, because uh, it was, like, gloomy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But like I was saying, uh, after <laughs> after she got in the car, looked at the car, or whatever, we started talking like as friends, like, "Hey, how have you been? Uh, if you were seeing anybody or talking to anybody, she was talking. I think she was talking to a Mormon. Don't get into it. I was talking to. I think she was talking. Y'all, I was desperate for some love at the time. I think she was talking to a Mormon guy. Yes, I was. And then what was it? We started we started hanging out like more after that. But I thought it was so cute, y'all. You know what? I always like I was thinking to myself after that, like, sorry to interrupt. You're good. But it was kind of like okay, so this guy did hit me up out of my sleep, like just randomly in the morning. I think not even in the morning. It was, it was like it was, it was the afternoon. afternoon. It was twelve because I had to go to work at like four. So I was like, okay, like he texted me and I'm like, okay, no, you called. I called you. You called me first and I was like, what the fuck? And I didn't answer. So I and called I, again. He, he called again and then I was like, I'm not going to answer it. So I just texted him and I was like, what's up? And he was like, oh, I just got a car, whatever. And I just thought it was so cute because, and thought it was so crazy because you haven't, like, we haven't spoken this whole time for six months. And then you call me. Just trying to show me your car, which I think he was doing that. Just trying to, you know, be like, I'm like, let me show her this car that I got. So, you know, maybe she'll fuck with me again. That's how I thought of it. No, I was just saying, hey, you want to see the car that I got, that I just got? I thought it was more than that. Boy, you know you miss me. It was strictly friends. Like, I just wanted to show you, like, that I got a good car. But why me, though? You could have did that to anybody. 
You could have did that. T- you just just randomly thought Jabor. Honestly, yeah, I did. Hmm. I think it's, I, I guess it was. Just I honestly TV. did, but after that we had started talking for a while. Mm-hmm. What was it like? Maybe a couple weeks. Yeah, for, I'll say like for a month, really. I'd say towards uh, the end of that month was that like you started to tell me that you had feelings for me. Yeah. Like, we would always, like, go out, like, hang out. I would hang out with her and her friends. Um, I would go to the hookah with them. Yeah. The hookah lounge. And then after that, we had hung out one night, and I told her that I still, I still had feelings for her, and I wanted to ask her out again. Mm-hmm. And that was when I did a little peace offering. <laughs> That's what I call it. It was, it was like, okay. So, yeah, all of that happened. But between all of that, like, those big, like, things, significant moments. Between all of that, I feel like he, it was so cute. Because even though you were hanging out with me and my friends, you still were letting them know that you liked me. Like, hinting to them. And so they would come to me telling me, would you give them a chance? Would you give him? And I'm just yeah. like, I'm like, because mm, at the time I was skeptical because you like six months before you were like, nah, I'm not ready. So I'm like, okay. And then I was just skeptical about giving him a chance. I don't know, but my mom was just like, you know what? And y'all take notes for this. Yeah. Everybody told her to get. Everybody told her to give me a second chance. Even her mom, and she doesn't really. Was it? She usually doesn't give people second chances. I no. She just. I just never heard my mom say that about any guy that I was talking to. Uh, That's just it. Like, if your mom was like, "Look, sweetheart, like you never really know until you know." Like, you know what I mean? Like, you really don't know until you take the time to be like, "Okay, like, you know, maybe I, I'm gonna miss out on a blessing." You don't want to miss out on a blessing, which I was like, "Okay, whatever." And something just kept pushing me to say yes because every time I got around him. It was just like, it just felt so good, honestly. Like, when we would meet up at the hookah lounge, stuff like that. She like got flustered. And not flustered, but like... You did. Butterflies. Yeah, I did too, honestly. Because it was like, every time you looked at me, it was like, She's it was like, everything. Mm-hmm. She would always come. I don't know, because... She would always come. You remember that one time when my friends were like, oh, like, uh, you... What, what was it that they said? They literally were like, um, Jabor, would you give him a chance? And you were like this. And you looked at me and you were like, I'm down for a ch- another chance. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I looked at you and I was like, boy. I was like, are you kidding me? And so I was like, okay, like, whatever. And I, I didn't say anything the rest of the night. No, you didn't. I did not say anything because I was like. She was trying to avoid it. I was avoiding that question. Like, that question. I did not want to answer it at all. And then... Uh, the next day, I think me and me, you and my my other friend your, were on Face. Uh, your closest while I was, friend. Yeah, my one of my closest friends. We we're all on Facetime while I was at work, and then um, she was like, she was like, "This Jabur, why don't you give him another try? Why don't you give him another try? Whatever." And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> and he's over here like, "Yeah, why don't you? Why don't you?" Yeah, and you just yeah. pressured me, and I was like, "Whatever." Then at one point. Pressure, guys. I just told him flat out, I was like, look, this is what I expect from a man. If you expect to, you know, you know, be in my life and stuff like that, and we spending time together, this is what I expect. And women, you got to do that. You got to let the guys know what you expect. Put everything out on the table so they know, because if there's something that he does not agree with before y'all continue on, then you know to walk away. So I told him everything that I needed out of a man and out of a relationship and basically he has hit everything basically i try he doesn't even have like he's just one of those people that are very giving and stuff and he literally takes really good care of me when he can i always my thing is i always try to make sure that everybody else even though i'm supposed to focus on myself being happy i fucking I focus on other people being happy as well. Right. Because I hate to see people being upset, let alone my friends. I, or somebody that I'm close to. 
I hate to see, yeah, hate is a strong word, but that's how I feel. I hate seeing people, upset, oh, my friends upset. So then um, after that, he, he was asking me out and you want to let them know how you asked me out? Uh, yeah, I had, what was it? I had taken you home mm -hmm. after, I can't remember what we did. I think it was, we were at the, we were heading home around the hookah lounge or whatever. And, um, I taken you home. I asked you to get out the car and close your eyes. Mm -hmm. She was very hesitant on that. I was scared. I was, was scared like, ass. even though I'm in front of my family house right now, anything could fucking happen at this point. I was like, what you mean close my eyes? I don't want to close my eyes. You going to kill me or something. I felt like I that. wasn't. Good. I know you weren't. I know that now. Mm -hmm. But then I was kind of skeptical. But keep going, boo. <laughs> <laughs> that giggled though. <laughs> <laughs> um. But then I had a peace offering, which I call it, um, for her to give me a second chance. So I had bought her a coach. No, no, it was no. It Michael wasn't. Kors. It wasn't. Kors, it wasn't coach. It was Michael Kors. It was a Michael Kors purse with a matching wallet, mm -hmm. which she still uses to this day. Yeah. And I used that as a peace offering. I was like, I know that we had talked for only a month and it didn't really go as planned. In part one. In part one. But I hope that this, our starting of part two, will be something great. So I said, Jabor Weekly. Would you go out with me again? And honestly, y'all felt like a proposal, but it did. I, I it felt so good. <laughs> I was like, I tried, but then again, I tried not to turn it, making making it look like a proposal. It was cute, regardless. The way you did it. Was but her cute. mom was stalking us the whole time, though. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. No, no, not that. No. Oh, uh, not not that night, but later on, she kept on stalking. No, she, don't say that. You know she's going to watch it and be like, stalking. Ain't no like stalking. Y'all make sure my daughter okay. Well. Per mom. Okay, not stalking, but kept on looking outside to see who was outside. Yeah, whatever. And that's like, literally after that, I was like, so knowing me, I was like, okay, like, thank you. Like, we kissed. And actually, I jumped and you picked me up. And yeah. you held me. It's like those, like, little romantic things. Like what you would see on Disney movies. And plus, before, and here's another thing. Before I even asked her out, we had already acted like that we were a couple. Yeah, honestly. Honestly. It was like, it was everything. Still is everything. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy from there, well, from then to now. Yeah, a year and a half later. Yeah. Many more to come to. Oh, yeah. But that's like, that's really just how we met and everything. And then, other than that, it's been, it's been, how, it's, been it's been awesome. It's uh, been awesome. And it has been a learning process yeah, as well. For both of us. Mm -hmm. Because for both of us, I'm not going to say it's our first real relationship, but I'm just going to say, like, this is something really real. Yeah. Like, it's you know, like more real than we could ever think. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, comments, uh, leave it in the comments down below. Um, <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> just subscribe, comment down below, and Don't forget to subscribe, like subscribe, the video, subscribe. guys. Yes, because there's going to be more, plenty more videos to come. Um, just make sure y'all stay tuned. Um, and that's really it. And then make sure y'all comment down below all the other videos that y'all would like us to make together or, or challenges though you want us to do. Exactly. Or pranks, but with pranks, y'all DM me. You guys have a blessed, blessed, blessed day 
or night whenever you guys are watching this thank you for watching once again and Subs subscribe 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 and don't forget to leave <laughs>